First is the nitrogen ball valve, then the safety pressure relief valve or PRV. The safety PRV is preset and should not be tampered with. If the safety PRV pops, call FSI for assistance. Such an occurrence is rare. Next is the chemical ball valve and strat coupler. Before connecting cylinders, be sure to read and observe all labels and warnings listed on the cylinders. Now let's review the procedures for connecting cylinders. Start with the isocyanate or white cylinder. Isocyanate, or ISO for short, is also referred to as the A-side in the U.S. Remove the protective cap and grease from the strat coupler. Pack the grease in the protective cap so it can be reused when preparing the ISO cylinder for return. Be sure to remove all of the grease from the strat coupler. Using rags and a small screwdriver are helpful with this step. Spray the inside of the strat coupler with DK817 aerosol and clean thoroughly with a rag. Removing the grease and cleaning the strat coupler is an important step and should be performed with care. Next, lubricate the outside threads of the coupler with lithium grease or petroleum jelly. Connect the female strat coupler. Be sure to use the hose and filter assembly designated with the ISO, A, or white markings. Tighten the coupler with a wrench. Since the strat coupler fittings are the same for both the ISO and polyol cylinders, it is critical to ensure that ISO is connected to ISO and polyol is connected to polyol to avoid crossover. A crossover is likely to result in permanent damage to both the cylinders and dispensing equipment. Now, check the nitrogen snap tight fitting from the nitrogen supply line to assure the O-ring is intact. If the O-ring is cut, worn, or damaged, it should be replaced. A damaged O-ring can lead to unnecessary nitrogen consumption and failure to maintain operating pressure. Once the reliability of the O-ring is confirmed, remove the protective cap from the nitrogen inlet and connect the snap-tight fitting by pressing it into place. Next, repeat the process for the polyol or black cylinder, also referred to as the B-side. There is no grease on the polyol cylinder as polyols are self-lubricating. Just remove the cap and connect the strat coupler. Again, take special care to assure you connect the polyol, B-side, or black hose and filter assembly to the polyol cylinder. Then check the O-ring and attach the polyol side nitrogen snap-tight fitting. Finally, open the chemical and nitrogen ball valves on both cylinders. Now, perform the daily quality control procedures before beginning production. Daily QC procedures are critical to assuring quality foam production and should never be skipped. A separate FSI video is available to review these fast and simple procedures. When the chemical cylinders are empty, follow these simple steps to disconnect and prepare the cylinders for return shipment to FSI. First, close the chemical and nitrogen supply ball valves and disconnect the nitrogen supply line by pressing down on the top of the snap-tight fitting and pulling up on the flange near the bottom. Reattach the protective cap on the nitrogen inlet for transit. Repeat this process for the additional cylinder. Next, loosen and disconnect the ISO or A-side strat coupler. Wipe off all residual chemical from the coupler and thoroughly rinse and clean with DK817 aerosol. Using the original grease stored in the protective cap, repack the strat coupler opening and lubricate the threads. Then screw on the protective cap and tighten. Next, disconnect the polyol or B-side cylinder. Clean out any residual polyol from the strat coupler 
and connect the protective cap. Now, use DK817 aerosol to clean the couplings on both hose and filter assemblies. Use a rag and small screwdriver to remove all residual chemical. The final step, called blowdown, is done to reduce the pressure in the cylinders in accordance with Department of Transportation regulations. The specific shipping pressure rating is designated on the hang tag on the nitrogen pressure relief valve. This process can be very loud, so we recommend doing it outdoors and with proper ear protection. Once the cylinder is outside or in a well-ventilated area, connect the blowdown tool to the nitrogen inlet valve and close the ball valve. Next, open the nitrogen ball valve on the cylinder, then open the ball valve on the blowdown tool to release the pressure. Close the ball valve periodically as the pressure decreases and check the pressure gauge until the pressure reaches the PSI specified on the hang tag. When the pressure listed on the hang tag is reached, disconnect the blowdown tool, close the ball valve on the cylinder, and replace the protective cap. Once the blowdown procedure for both cylinders is complete, the cylinders are ready for return to FSI. For your convenience, Foam Supplies includes a return bill of lading with each shipment. Look for a neon green sticker affixed to the cylinder for the appropriate return documentation.